So chain T pot here against T Blakey on one M in a standard match here. I think we're just doing this for something to do. A little battle. I think last time we played he beat me about two an hour or something and so this is my time to get revenge. So I lead the wee vial, he leaves the Gardos. I just go for the night slash to get a hat, maybe a possible crit. But he attacks and hits me waterfall, but he doesn't really do much at all, surprisingly. I had Sash on, so I knew I'd live anyway. But this told me quite well that it was going to be really bulky then. But he may still carry Dragon Dance. So I switch to Yan Mega here. I think this is the Choice Specs Tinted Lens Yan Mega. I go for the Bug Buzz. And I got a crit there, which does a lot to Snorlax. Like, a hell of a lot with that crit there, but I didn't kill. So I was thinking for the damage the crit did that without a crit I'd KO, but I don't. He must have lived like about 10 HP there, and then he rests up. So obviously I can't two hit KO him here, especially if he has sleep talk. So I switched to Metagross here to get some physical damage on him, but he has sleep talk, and he gets Earthquake. But even at a new unit, if he did have Earthquake, Metagross would be able to withstand it. As it's not curse slax or that, and it's not really stab. So I go for meteor mash, and it does just over half, and I got the attack boost. And he got rest of sleep talk, which is really good for me, as he didn't get some like body slam and paralyzed me or another earthquake. So he thinks for a while what to go to, and he goes to Gardos. I go for another meteor mash, just so it hit something, and it does a lot, quite a bit there, even though he resists it. Thanks to attack boost. So I was thinking here what I should do. I was pretty sure I'd live a Gardos earthquake here. So he earthquakes and I live and I get an other, another meteor mash into him. Which finishes him off. I could have went for the bullet punch but I wasn't wanting to chance that really. I just wanted to meteor mash in case he switched. So he goes to Salamence here and no bullet punch would probably do a fair amount but I was scared of what I'd do so I switched to Yan Mega here thinking I might go for an earthquake but he has flamethrower which I forgot you learn. So I'd pretty much just wasted Yan Mega there when I could easily went to Tentacruel. So I switched to Tentacruel and I'll go back to Metagross making I was hoping like if I went to Tentacruel I would switch to Snorlax knowing that Tentacruel carries special attack attacks and snorts could take them pretty well. So I go for the meteor mash and it missed. And he gets the earthquake and I'm living like 46 HP now 70 after leftovers. So I know with a meteor mash I could probably get one but nah it exploded there. Yeah I just wanted to get ready Snorlax. So and Metagross was close to death anyway. So he switches to Bronzong and go to Tentacruel. I th go for Surf just to see how much it'll do and he sets up light screen. So obviously I can't really do a great amount here so I got a hair cross which I've not really used much before. Uh, it's a flame arm and guts like aid kind. I was thinking for a while what I should go for if I should just go for a facade or close combat or mega horn or even a sword stance but he switches to Gengar which obviously I find doesn't touch. So I got a tentacle again just to take the hat it does and I take it quite well. So he's just hypnosis and it hits and I'm asleep and yeah. So I think for a bit he switches to scissor there. I switch tentacle out to Azumaru knowing I could aqua jet Gengar if needs be. I go for waterfall and I got really lucky here and I got a crit. I killed it and I doubt without the crit I would have killed. So it's pretty good. He switches to Bronzong now and I go for a waterfall and I got r lucky again and got a flinch hacks. I'm pretty sure he said here that it was going to explode on me which would have actually made me lose the game pretty much. But thankfully flinch hacks helped me. So he gets intimidate on Azumar Women's. I just switched to Tentacruel while we use Brick Break which doesn't really do anything to Tentacruel. Despite I'm a own a special wall. I luckily woke up there in Sludge Bomb. I was actually quite surprised that Tentacruel outspeeded Salamence. I was kinda surprised at that. 
So you left your salamence to Gengar to take Sludge Bomb. I was thinking of using Surf, but I changed my mind, just went for Sludge Bomb. And I yeah, got a crit with Sludge Bomb, and seeing how it's the crit dead, without the crit, I would be in like nothing. So I switched to Azumar here to Aqua Jet. I had a plan here that if he switches to Mens, I could probably still finish it off with an aqua two Aqua Jets, because he switched in into it. So I'll finish it off with an Aqua Jet there. Uh, it's not very effective, but it still finishes off. So Gengar here, I was unsure if an Aqua Jet would KO, so I switched to Heracross just for as a death other. Takes a T bolt quite nicely. Um, but he outspeeds and he shadow balls and he finishes me off. Now is the moment to see if Azumar's Aqua Jet would KO or not. So I go for the Aqua Jet and I got lucky here and it KO'd. I was so frightened that it would do some like level 1 HP or so. So yeah, good game T Blakely. T Blakely, are you T Blakely 89? Um, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed watching.